Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to talk about something interesting. I want to talk about why I think an underpowered quad makes a better freestyle quad. Recently I had a comment on a video. Um, the guy was like, yeah, 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 you got skills, bro, but I think your quad is severely underpowered. Well, in that particular video that he was commenting on, I was flying with this quad, not these props, with severely beat up props. It was like at the end of a battery, so the battery was like really drained. And so yeah, the quad definitely was flying a bit underpowered. But something about that comment made me think back to several of my better freestyle sessions, in my mind anyways. And I got to thinking, most of my better freestyle sessions seem to be like at the end of a pack, when I'm flying with really crappy props, and the quad is actually slightly underpowered. I think a lot of it has to do with it gives you a little more throttle resolution. Now you don't have the same amount of throttle, but you've got more resolution because your quad's flying weaker, and because it's flying weaker, adjustments um, that you make, if you make too much of an adjustment, you don't notice it as much. So this is where my theory is coming from. Now you can argue with me all you want and you can tell me how I'm wrong and that's great. You go right ahead and do that and I'm going to go right ahead and probably ignore you. But you know, everybody's entitled to their opinion and you know, some people swear by having, you know, all the power and some people like a heavier quad and I think that kind of stems from a heavier quad allows you to kind of chuck it a little bit, but also kind of gives you a little more resolution. It's also probably why I like slower rates because it gives you more resolution. I'm really bad about using too much stick sometimes, and I think that lends itself well to lower rates and a heavier quad, even although this one's not heavy, heavy, but it's, it's definitely heavy when you're not carrying action cam. It's definitely heavy for that. Um, and you know slightly underpowered maybe so i fly 4s and i tend to like lower pitch props although for the last several months i've been flying the uh, the banning style 5136 props and that's technically a like lower pitch maybe but it's got a little beefier area in here and so it actually generates more thrust than the props that i was flying before um and I was flying the 5143-3 props from uh, Jim Fan, and those have slightly higher pitch, but they have less surface area, so slightly less thrust, or close to the same, but maybe slightly less thrust than the Vanny style props. Um, but I wanted to try the Vanny props for a couple reasons. Reason number one, they were cheaper, and reason number two, they were cheaper. So, yeah. But I wanted to try something different, so I tried them out, and I like them. They're not bad, but I think I'm going to be switching to a different prop. I want something that has less thrust, because I think I fly better when I have a little bit less thrust. It gives me a little more resolution on the throttle, which I like. So now you could, you could accomplish that a couple ways. You could have less thrust from your props. You could change your throttle to where it has a different max so like you know chop off the top five or ten percent of it or whatever and so your max throttle really is like 95 or 90 percent throttle you could do that that also gives you more uh resolution um and you can keep the same props although the results it may give you a little more control i don't know i just want to try different props we'll see and uh, we're going to see how that goes so i'm going to go out i'm going to fly a little bit at the park here and then i think i'm going to go out a little bit later if I can, I'm going to fly at the old school spot that I like to fly. Um, the high school that has all the cool stuff around there that I really like to fly. That's like one of my favorite places anymore to fly. So, we're going to try out in, in the park here. Mainly because this is a new build. I'll talk about that in a second. And Well, not really new, but it's got new components. So, I want to make sure everything is good there. And then we'll go fly at the school and I'll give you my thoughts on it while I'm flying it so and hopefully I don't crash too much because I don't want to ruin my props and make it even less thrust so I've flown this I did a hover test the other night and then I flew it once around the house and I could definitely feel a difference in the thrust so I should definitely be able to tell that when I'm doing the, the freestyle stuff so we'll see how that goes now 
to the components and why I switched those. I'll give you a quick little synopsis. I'm running the T-Motor F7 55 amp Pro 2 and the ESC stack, the and FC stack, FC and ESC stack. Um, I wanted something different because I've been using the Mamba stack, the Ditone uh, Mamba F405 MK2 stack. And while performance wise has been fine, the issues that I've had has to do with durability, particularly with the ESCs. They've not been all that durable. They have, they've taken a pretty good beating, but they just kind of went out in, at times when I didn't think that they should go out. So I want to try something different, something that hopefully racers like this one, they seem to think it's pretty durable. It's supposed to be able to handle more amps than um, the Mamba ones, although I don't think I was over amping anything. I think there was just components dying. And not really dying, but like they get like twitchy. Like it'll just like get, get twitchy all of a sudden um, and do weird stuff. So that, uh, that's that. So I'm going to try this out and see. This is definitely more expensive. So hopefully it lasts. I've heard pretty good reviews, although a couple of people have said they've had issues. We'll see. Hopefully I don't have issues. Hopefully I'm one of those guys. Um, I shouldn't be having anywhere near the amps that it allows for. So I think we should be good there. We'll see how that goes. Anyways. Um, I put the same tune that I had on it before. That's one other thing I want to talk about. And I posted a comment about, you know, do you upgrade your, well, this has got now, this has Betaflight 4.3, not 4.4. And I've been running 4.2 previous to that. I really don't upgrade all that often. And I was like, it's had 4.3 on it whenever I got it. And I was like, yeah, I could downgrade it. But you know what? I'm just going to leave it because I know they added one feature that I really did want to have, which was handling motor direction and the orientation of the ESC, you know, you know, reordering the motors and changing their direction super easy without having to go into Bill Heli. So I was like, all right, I'm going to give this a go and try it out. So I did that and that part is great. But the pit tuning, beta flight, dear God, beta flight. Will you quit making it to where it's more, 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 more difficult to get to the expert mode stuff, at least make it more obvious. Because the way to turn those things off was not obvious to me um, when I first looked at it, I now know where they are at. I figured that out. Thank you very much, but I don't like it. I just want to be able to change stuff. Let me just go in and change the numbers, and if I change them like you did before, when you would change the numbers, it would be like, okay, sliders are off now. That's what I want. If I go manually change the numbers, then turn the sliders off. Don't force me to figure out how to turn the sliders off to then change the numbers. That's annoying, but that's my gripe. Um, so... That's one of the reasons I don't like upgrading because I don't like change. I generally don't like change. Although I do change stuff from time to time when I feel a necessity to do that. But I don't, I'm not one to just, just change to be changing. I don't like upgrading stuff. I don't like swapping out stuff. I don't like changing stuff. I have something that works. I want it to work. I don't enjoy the tinker aspect of the hobby. I've been down that road. I've done the tinkering. I don't like it anymore. It's no fun. I just want to fly. And yeah, I could buy a ready to build, your ready to fly stuff, but um, I like knowing what's in here. I like knowing how it's set up. And I like if it goes wrong, it's on me because of something I did and not because of something that somebody else did that I've got to figure out. So that's me. Anyways, enough of that. Let's go fly. Okay, so like I said, this is a test. To test out the drone after rebuilding and it's also a test of the uh, the props and the weight and all that stuff okay so so far So far, I'm digging, digging these props. Oh, oh, oh. saved it. I got a bent prop now, though. All right, let me land and fix that. <laughs> uh, and I got a little dust on my land suit on her. Okay. All right, let me fix that prop real quick. There we go, there we go, there we go. All right, I think we're in pretty good shape now. All right. 
Let's see. All right. Yeah, that. <laughs> People. And therein lies the problem with flying in public spots. We got people. So we'll just kind of probably end this one here. Let me finish this battery out here though. As long as they're going to stay over there, we'll be all right. Yeah, I like these. Uh, I like these props. It's a little flying out here in the open field here. Yeah, pretty good response. And like not, not really, not really even prop wash out of them, which is kind of cool. Cool. I like these. They feel feel pretty good. Right, I should probably land before I kill my battery, shouldn't I? Oh, ouch. Durability test. Okay, initial thoughts with these props on this setup. I like it. Big thumbs up. I can definitely feel the difference in less throttle, um, which that's what I was wanting. I was wanting less throttle, less resolution, well, more resolution, but less thrust, so that whenever I give a little blip and stuff, that it's less harsh. Um, I think that helps twofold. One, keeps you from overcorrecting, which I'm really bad about doing. Yes, I should be just better on the sticks and just should learn how to not overcorrect. Well, sorry, but that's just not how life works sometimes. Some of us who are old, almost 50, don't have the reflexes and everything and the dexterity of you younger guys. So for us older dudes who don't have the dexterity or the reflexes, it works well for me. Um, that being said, a couple things I noticed. These props are definitely lighter than the props that I ran. They're like 3.4 grams. And the other props that I ran were about four, three, four, four, so almost a gram difference in thrust, or a gram difference in weight, thrust, gram difference in weight on each of these. And that allows the motors to spin them up quicker and slow them down quicker, which I think helps with prop wash. Um, in addition to less thrust, also helps with prop wash. So prop wash, if you don't know, for anybody that's new, you're coming down into dirty air, like you've got air coming down this way, this area has all been kind of uh, disturbed by the props throwing stuff down. So when you come down into it, it's dirty air. If you've ever flown in a real plane, turbulence, that is prop wash in essence, turbulence. So you're coming down through air that's moving and it's just trying to adjust for it and it kind of shakes it a little bit. That's prop wash. Um, so the fact that these can be spun up and slow down quicker and they generate less thrust, those two things together I think helps to reduce prop wash. Um, Maybe there's been some improvements between 4.2 and 4.3 as far as beta fly goes. I ran the exact same tune or as close as I could get to the same tune because they have changed things just a little bit um, as to what I had before. Um, everything else seems to be, be pretty good. Uh, motors are nice and cool. Well, not cold, but they're cool like they always are. So, yeah. So, yeah. So far, I like them. I'm going to go out to the, uh, the school this evening, hopefully, and uh, at least somewhere, preferably the school. Um, and fly there because it's a known spot. I know how I fly there. I know what it's like to fly there. And I'm going to take this thing and we're going to try it there and see how it goes. I wanted to fly a couple packs out there, but people showed up. You do what you got to do. You know, always give, always give pedestrians the right away. 
And as soon as I've seen them, you know, get away from them and see what they're doing and be safe. So, all that said, let's go to the school and I will see you there this evening. Well, as you can see, I did not make it to the school. This is not the school, obviously. This is my house. So, I went out to go fly at the school and apparently even late into the evening, people are at the school. Do y'all not ever go home? I mean... Really? Goodness. Go home. Enjoy your evening. You don't need to be at the school so long. Good grief. Anyways. So I didn't get to do that. So I'm going to go down to the park again. And I'm going to fly another pack or two. Shouldn't be anybody there. It's in the morning. And uh, I want to kind of get a better feel for these props. I don't know if I mentioned that a second ago. These are J37 props. Um, if you follow my community page on here, you saw that already. So they are 4.9 inches and 3.7 uh, pitch. I don't know if I said that or not. Maybe I did. Anyways, I'm going to say it again. They're 4.9 inch, 3.7 pitch. And they weigh like 3.4 grams. They're very similar, I think, um, to the old watermelon props um, that uh, Ethics came out with. They're, they kind of remind me of that. They have a similar shape. They got about the same amount of weight. They might be slightly smaller, um, but very, very similar to those. Although, a um, little bit less thrust maybe than those, so I don't know. I mean, at least it felt like there was less thrust, but it's been a long time since I've flown those props. I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe not. Maybe that's just me overthinking it. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to go fly a couple more, and I'll give you my thoughts while I'm flying, and then we'll wrap, wrap this thing up. Um, with uh, with my final thoughts on a underpowered quad being good for freestyle. And I'll probably follow up with this probably a month from now. Because, you know, I'm going to try these props for a while. And uh, I'll let you know what I think after about a month or so of flying. Um, if I think it's helping, not helping, not really much difference, whatever, you know, I'll kind of let you know what I'm, what I'm thinking there. So we'll see how that goes. Anyways, let's go fly a couple packs here this morning and um, wrap this thing up. There we go. Oh, man, I got dust on my lens again. Oh, well. You guys are just going to have to deal with it. Just going to have to deal with a little dust on the lens. All right. So, like I said, we're just going to do a little more testing, give you my thoughts while I'm flying it, see what I think. Oh, a little water there. I definitely, uh, I definitely like the response on these. Ooh, that was close. They definitely feel good, and I've got. Where I've got less throttle. I've got a little more resolution, which I really like. It's definitely helping me not to overcorrect on throttle, which I like. See, I was able to do that there and not botch it up. <laughs> definitely uh, definitely liking these guys so far definitely liking them I'm finding I can make adjustments way easier than I could before. Oh, 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 ho. Oh. Nice little crash there. Can I flip it? There we go, flipped over. Oh. 
Oh, dang it. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just Stacy, S T A C E Y, and then Abshire, A B S H I R E. You'll see me a little. That's your subscriber. Yeah. Man. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah, yeah. You'll see some of this flying and stuff a little bit later, probably. <laughs> well, this game is a subscriber, so that's kind of cool. I really like how these guys feel when I'm coming over stuff and I'm coming onto the throttle. I'm finding it much easier to adjust the throttle as I'm coming down to not balloon. And if you're not familiar with what that term means, it basically means. When you apply throttle, you end up kind of bouncing almost um, because you apply too much throttle and then it gets too much lift. So there's like a balance. So when you come into it to get just the right amount of throttle to keep kind of coming through and not not crash and not come up to keep your line basically. And I'm finding that much easier to do so far. Now I've only had, you know, two and a half packs really on these. So I can't say for sure that that's all good. But so far it's been really good and I'm noticing that um, the response on these is really good they are uh, quick to come back up quick to spin up is, is really nice um, I'm not noticing prop wash so much there was a couple of spots there if you were paying attention you probably saw a little bit of prop wash um, but that's dealing with that much better I think it's just because they're lighter weight and the motors can spin them up quicker and down quicker and so it handles that a little better um, but they, they spin up real quick, so like um, doing stuff lower to the ground and recovering may be better in some respects because of that, but also a little bit worse because of less thrust, but maybe not in the grand scheme of things when you combine everything together, I don't know. All right, so a couple more packs here, and uh, then we'll finish this thing up. All right, so these are still the same props, so they might be a little, a little beat up. It's really not affecting how it's flying overall. <laughs> I like those yaw spin through there, that's kind of cool. Oh, just whacked it pretty good there. Oh, I'm not sure what happened there. Ho oh, ho! Yeah, that would explain why I didn't, uh, <laughs> the prop came off. I like completely knocked it off somehow it's completely missing the back prop the nut's still on there the prop is gone <laughs> one negative maybe on the prop <laughs> uh, yeah it's completely missing the nut's still on there i will take a picture with my phone see what that looks like <laughs> yeah you can see the nut's still on there <laughs> uh, that's funny I don't know where it went to. Like I missed, um, it might, I might find it out here somewhere if I walk around for a bit. I'm going to try this again. What is this? Like uh, reviewer's curse, but for like testing out theory. This is new theory curse. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Let's see if I can get uh, two packs in without... So I got my got my prop thingy here to tighten them down if I need to and everything. So in theory, these are all these are fresh props too. I put some fresh ones on. So in theory, 
Maybe we can get... Man, I am digging these things. I am digging these props. Oh, I gotta quit hitting stuff though. I feel so good. They just got, they're really smooth, which you know everybody says that about props, right? But the uh, thing I'm noticing with the smoothing though is not, I mean they're smooth in flight, but most props are smooth in flight unless they're like really out of balance or just like uh, too much torque or something, I don't know. Um, but they've just got a real smooth throttle response. Um, and that's what I'm really enjoying. They've got just the right amount of throttle from thrust. No, I keep saying throttle. They've got just the right amount of thrust for me to do. Oh, that was funky. I'm not sure what happened there. Not be motor issue. These are pretty beat up motors. Not sure. That was the same weird ESC problem I had. And that's why I swapped stacks. Hopefully I'm not having the same issue with. Of course, I don't crash so much. You know, maybe, maybe I wouldn't have these problems, right? Probably wouldn't if I didn't crash so much and beat up my motor so badly. Oh. <laughs> All right, let me check this thing out here. Sound okay. All right, battery's about had it. Go ahead and land here. Hey, I finished the battery out. Yay! All right, let's swap batteries. Oh, by the way, running uh, 25 milliwatts too right now. Ha. Huh. Man, I am digging these props. With close proximity, man, these things are, these are a bomb. Aside from my crashing. Oh, I got a, got a band one. Let me straighten this guy up. Let's see if there's a little thankiness. A little bit of thankiness, but not too bad. <laughs> about whack the, uh, the roof there on that one. <laughs> I like that move right there, the little left roll and then come out backwards. That's kind of cool. Bonk. Oh. Oh. Man, I am digging these props. They are definitely... They're definitely helping me with my control. Which that was my whole premise, which was a little bit a little bit underpowered is good for proximity flying. Don't care what you want to say, it's definitely good for proximity flying. Oh thank you, I guess. I'm gonna make sure everything's spinning okay. Oh, oh no. Oh, that's the problem. Oh, oh, this motor. Oh man, he took a hit and a half. Uh, let's see. 
next thing, let's get that, try to get that focused. Yeah. Yeah, that's the reason. Well, I guess I'm done for now. I have to swap bells. Here's my, here's my thoughts. Under power for the win, for tight proximity, at least for us old guys who do not have the dexterity or the reflexes uh, for a higher powered quad. And I mean, maybe even if you do, you might find it working for you pretty well. So that's, that's my theory. I'm going to stick to it because so far it's proving accurate. I'm definitely doing much better managing throttle, doing stuff tighter, staying closer to things not ballooning out all those things so come at me bro tell me i'm wrong i'm not but if you want to argue i'm more than happy to argue with you and uh, i'll listen but i'm not changing so i like these so far and uh, aside from the one durability issue where who knows where that prop went to and how it came off i guess the hub broke i don't know that happens every once in a while I generally don't tighten my props down too much, so I don't think that's the uh, the cause. I think it just, it probably just took too much flex because I've been bending them back a lot and they've been holding up pretty well and, um, and it's poor motor. Anyways, you guys have a good one. Let me know what you think. And uh, have you ever tried to fly your quad underpowered? And what did you think about it? So it's not like really underpowered. It's still got plenty of power to do maneuvers. It's just slightly less power than it did have, which really helps with the the throttle resolution and management of it. That's my theory. So far, I'm, I'm right as far as for me, you know. Tell me I'm wrong, prove me wrong. You know, I don't know. I mean, you can do proximity, you know, without doing this, obviously. But for me, it's working really well. So slightly heavier quad and slightly underpowered quad. It's a win-win for me, I think. I like it. So you guys have a good one, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.